this is a Stirling cycle engine. With the Stirling cycle engine, if you have gas and held in a space and you heat it, the pressure will rise and you can use that to push against a piston. If you then move that gas to where it's cold, it'll contract and the piston can come back again. Then we move the gas back to where it's hot and it expands. So all we do in the Stirling cycle is we're heating and cooling the gas, which is causing a pressure wave, which is then acting on a piston or a diaphragm. With these 3D printed engines, we've got 3D printed parts. So the hot and cold heat exchangers, that's the top and the bottom, are all 3D printed. Instead of using a precision made piston and cylinder, we use a 3D printed diaphragm and the pressure wave that we've got is acting on the diaphragm and that creates a force on this uh, rocker which then applies force to the connecting rod and then causes the flywheel to rotate. These engines are known as low delta T Stirling engines. They're working with a low temperature difference. We have hot water that we put in the bottom. That heats the hot side and the cold water. And so with a small flick of the flywheel, the engine starts running. It's not going to break any records for power, but it is a 3D printed Stirling engine. You don't need a fancy workshop or anything that's going to have to produce precision components. You just need a good 3D printer and some basic home tools. There's many different things you can do with these engines. You can make them for yourself or they can be used as educational instruments. For example, at a high school you could make the machines and demonstrate them to students to show them uh, basic thermodynamics. And then if you go to university you can have labs set up so that the students can actually run them and do tests on them and do examinations and do development and optimization of the machines. One of the beauties of these machines is they're not specific to one particular design. You can produce lots of different layouts of the engines. As you can see here, there's uh, the round uh, shaped ones and then there's what they call the bow tie where we've got an oscillating displacer that's happening in there. The way that they've been designed is that you can change the variables on how the engine operates. So you can change the stroke, uh, we can change the phase angle of the pistons and displacers by varying here. We can also change the ratios of these beams. So I've shown you engines that are quiet, they're clean, they run on hot and cold water. And what's more, you can print them out for yourself. You don't need a factory, you don't need an expensive workshop, and you don't need to have really high technical skills to do it. So download the files and print out your own.